Burning waste is a leading contributor to greenhouse gases and a warming planet. Some of the smartest minds in the world have been trying to find ways to solve that. And new technology being tried right now in Pine Bluff might be onto that solution. THREE11's Maya Ellison takes us behind the scenes of the world's largest carbon capturing plant. This block is made up of rice holes and sawdust. They hold about 40% of carbon inside of them. Graphite is the world's largest carbon removal plant aimed at reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And they're right here in your backyard. What we do, we take another company's trash and turn it into our treasure. I'm Located in Pine Bluff is an answer to the growing problem of increased carbon levels in the natural state. Graphite, a vision turned into reality by CEO Barclay Rogers, found a way to create the world's largest carbon removal plant. One way of going about doing that is literally taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and storing it in a way and, and such that it doesn't re-enter the atmosphere. And so at Graphite, that's what we do. Through a step-by-step -step process, natural byproducts like rice hulls and timber are dried down and packed into two-pound bricks, holding about 40% carbon. From there, the carbon capturing magic begins. The reason for, for, for make it, shaping it is really for packaging and, and logistic-wise, getting it to the sequestration site to actually put it underneath the ground and bury it forever. Sealing the deal, each block is encased into a waterproof barrier, weighing at least one ton, Basically, three barriers equal the amount of carbon dioxide emitted from an average vehicle each year. In terms of cost, it's pretty affordable. When we set out, you know, in founding Graphite and really sort of understanding our position in this market is we really set out to be a cost leader and at $100 a ton, we are. For Rogers, it's much more than climate change. It's the innovation that means the most. I think it's really powerful when you kind of put America in that lens, put Arkansas in that lens, and understand that innovation occurs every day, right? Innovation drives the economy forward, and I'm incredibly proud to be doing that in the state of Arkansas. In Pine Bluff, Maya Ellison, THV 11 News. Maya, thank you. And tomorrow, the company will seal up its first storage chamber, the final step of that carbon removal process. Each brick of biomass will be transported to a storage site in Grant County and placed in that so-called carbon tomb.